Spike, the orb of enlightenment. <laughs>
drop. Thank <laughs> you. 
our game is love and war. Gotta play it! <laughs>
three men who say they're the father of little Samantha. Little Samantha's a baby.
behind the scenes look at what a week at camp was like. I had a great time and I thought that I could still get this better. So I pulled out the Audubon field guide to show me. <laughs> and I found a chapter on the life cycle of a chaperone. So we'd like to let you know a little bit about the life cycle of a chaperone. The larval stage starts out with a job interview. So we'd like to start off with the job interview. So. <laughs> That's where the most work goes, 
So that's actual during the season. Uh, we can't go through everything that a chaperone does during the season, but we'd like to give you a couple of snippets from just stuff, interactions with the kids to the seldom seen chaperone meeting. But first of all, we'd like to go through a couple of things.
that's, uh, we could go on ad nauseum, we got to move things along, so the final stage of the metamorphosis is into the beautiful, mature chaperone. And uh, it hasn't occurred for me yet, but uh, I think it's about to happen, so let's step back and see what happens. Uh, what, excuse me, what's, what's going on here? Um, Hello, Mr. Lace. We have a commitment papers here for you from Western State Mental Hospital. <laughs> I've got some questions for you. Is it true that you dressed like a penguin and jumped off a platform? <laughs> Yes, it is, and I was not alone. There were at least five other males that did it, too. Is it true you got all the roadies to wear twinkling lights all over themselves while Mr. Mathers was giving an inspirational speech before finals of Everything is Illuminated? Uh, yes, we were trying to keep with the theme and the roadies all wanted to get lit. Do you dress as you are now for the finals of Pass Me By and impersonate Mr. B? Uh, uh, actually, everything I just said is true and Mr. Bathurst, I, I didn't intend to impersonate you, but this is no lie. At least 15 people came up to me during the show looking like this and asked me if I was the director of Kamiak Show Bands. And I had to tell them that no, I wasn't. He's much more mature. I'm just an enthusiastic volunteer. True story. no less than 700 kids to try and kill each other. Yes. Um, I have 140 witnesses here, so I can't deny it. Yes. <laughs> and are you planning something even bigger for this year? Um, as it has not happened yet, I do not have to answer that question. Oh, Yes. <laughs> 
was Andy Ray. Second came Calvin Fackrell. And finally came Mr. Tobias
Have you ever wondered why we don't have rehearsal that one weekend in August? Or not. 
So International at Jumpboard International proudly presents the Beat Goes On Senior Marching Band. <laughs> doing what they 